When you are negotiating your compensation, salary is absolutely an important part of the equation. You wanna know going in what's your bottom line and negotiate for the salary that's going to make you comfortable and happy with taking the job. It's not the only form of compensation though. And sometimes when we end up at the bottom of what we had hoped to get in that range, we walk away disappointed. There are so many other things to think about beyond your compensation when you're negotiating your salary. Think about things like what kind of, of work schedule is going to fit your lifestyle. You can negotiate for some flexible work options, which may include working from home or remotely, or some type of an altered schedule that's going to allow you to do the things that make your life very fulfilling. Other things that you can negotiate for are things like travel. So when you're traveling, what kind of accommodations can you negotiate for? It might be things like a, a Coach Plus seat with extra leg room. Sometimes first class can be something you negotiate for or a specific hotel carrier where you have begun banking points that you wanna make sure that you can continue to leverage. Speaking of the points, that's another thing that you can negotiate for. Some companies use those points internally and you can negotiate to keep the points for you for your personal use. A couple other things to think about are your education and how you're going to move forward in your career. So asking in advance for an agreement to attend a certain number of conferences, to obtain a certification, or other types of education that your company is going to pay for are other ways that you can up your compensation. Things like the LinkedIn Learning Platform, uh, if you can negotiate to have an open um, enrollment type situation where you can go in and learn about uh, different pieces of your job, right? So it may be you know, Word or Excel or another tool, but that platform has so many other videos and um, online learning opportunities that you can also use it to learn about the things you're interested either personally or from a side business perspective. Think about also your title. What would the title be that you would like to have that's gonna help you move forward in your career as well as your office space? Maybe you negotiate for a bigger office or cube or someplace that's close to a window so that you can have natural light. Think of all the different things that are going to make your work experience more enjoyable. If you would like to come up with a longer list, my recommendation is that you get together a couple of colleagues and have a brainstorming session about what would be the perks that would help you have a work situation that was more fulfilling and allowed you to live the life that you wanna live. And that can be either colleagues in your current work or friends and colleagues outside of your current position. So think about those tips. Let me know in the comments, what are the perks or the salary compensation pieces that are most important to you?